Hello everyone, Eric here and welcome to an early access team title called Rook's Keep. Rook's Keep was made by the developers called uh, Runestorm who also made the Cirrus Cleanup Detail. So I just went straight into the tutorial, I already played this, I just wanted to show you how uh, the tutorial looks like and how the gameplay works. So WS and D keys to move around, that's pretty standard, mouse to look around. So let's just get forward here. Okay, so this game features dodging, uh, you dodge with spacebar, and you see that little uh, yellow bar down uh, in the left corner? That's your rage meter, all, or as I like to call it, the stamina bar. Uh, so when you dodge, you use stamina. So this is the combat training. As you can see, the game looks alright. It's not a bad looking game, it features... Uh, a lot of physics, as a serious kind of detail, if you ever played it, uh, you would know that there is a lot of like physics based interaction, so it's here. So this is the quick attack, regular attack. As you can see, when the enemy dies, you can mush the body around. It's also very gory, if I may add. Oh, yeah. A lot of physics are pretty good. Alright, here it is with mouse 3 AK middle mouse button. There we go. I'm gonna shoot around a bit. There we go. Get into the corner. Oh. Okay. So there's also defense, parrying, and blocking. You uh, parry with the right mouse button, as I will uh, show you here. There we go. So when he. When you see the red or the orange, you parry with the right mouse button. If I could do it. Disclaimer, I'm just really bad at this game, so let's start. There we go. So left shift is for blocking. Uh, you, uh, it's more effective against quick attacks, as it says. So you block with left shit. You move slower when you're blocking. So that's a thing. There we go. I'll die. Okay. And now I will be attacking them and I'll show how I'll defend. So, uh, as uh, you have the rage meter, aka your stamina, you will also get skills. Uh, each uh, hero uh, has a particular uh, skill that he can use, and you activate with the uh, Q. And as you attack enemies, your rage generates. The Paladin has the charge ability, so if I go like this and press Q, and if I do it when I'm in range, it should uh, do some damage and partially stun him, I think. So, so there we go. Boom. There we go. Oh god. Oops. <laughs> okay, so. In this game, you can level up your skills by pressing B, and then um, you get skill points by killing, basically. So let's, I don't know, let's put some health, lifesteal, speed, and attack enhancement. 
Excuse me. That was my steam. Sorry if that bothered anyone. Alright, now we have to kill an enemy five times. Again, I am very bad at this game. Now, uh, there's nothing really bothering me with the controls. It's that, sort of, in a normal third person, when you move around, like, if I'm walking backwards and I have my mouse over there, it would just feel more natural if I was uh, moving uh, sort of backwards with my character instead of like this. And when I attack, it, he also attacks this way, so my character has to be aimed at him in order to attack. I just don't feel that's... It's not a nice feeling for me. I mean, that, that could just be me, for all I know. So, let's do this. As you can see, we, we gain a skill point for uh, fighting him. And last one. Ow. There we go. And that's the tutorial. In the next video, I will be showing you uh, more modes, more gameplay modes, and different characters as well. But for now, thanks so much for watching. See ya.